Hello dear learners, in this video, the part 3 of precipitation titration, we will going to study about the Wolhardt's method and we can say the modified Wolhardt's method. Now what is Wolhardt's method? So as we have seen the Fajan's method, what was that in a Fajan's method? Okay, so a basic reaction of precipitation titration that is the silver nitrate okay and the reaction of sodium chloride so we will get the precipitate of silver chloride that is a basic reaction of Fajan's method as well as the Mohr's method now in this reaction first of all what will be our indicator so here we have to use the Fe plus 3 the iron as a indicator and in this method what happened here the silver okay here the silver ion is precipitated by the SCN means here in a burette we have to fill the ammonium thiocyanate here we have to fill this ammonium thiocyanate solution it is reacted with the silver there is the reaction of the silver with ammonium thiocyanate and we will get the precipitate of silver thiocyanate. So, the silver and thiocyanate will get reacted and we will get the precipitate of silver thiocyanate. It is of a white color. This we will get a white color precipitate. Now, what is the end point of the Wolhardt's method? So, at the end, what we will get is, we will get the precipitate of this indicator with HCN means the ferric thiocyanate. So to get the ferric thiocyanate, there will be a reaction between ferric ion and thiocyanate. So there will be a total two reactions. In first reaction, silver will get reacted with thiocyanate and in a second reaction, the ferric ion, the indicator will react with the thiocyanate. So ultimately we will get a reddish brown precipitate of silver we can say this ferric thiocyanate so this is our Wolhardt's method and it will be carried out in an acidic medium it should carried out in an acidic medium only why it should carried out in acidic medium because if there will be a basic medium then the indicator that is iron it will hydrolyze okay it will get a reaction of hydrolysis and it will make a FeOH thrice precipitate that's why there will be no basic condition only acidic condition should be preferred now as we have seen at the end point the Fe plus 3 is reacted with the thiocyanate and we will get the reddish brown precipitate of a complex as a end point of this method now see what is the difference between Wolhardt's method and modified Wolhardt's method. So actually what happened there will be no direct reaction of ammonium thiocyanate with silver. That's why it is known as the modified Wolhardt method. Here what happened so this is a very precise and most commonly used method for determination of halide we can say chloride or bromide. So here chlorine ion is measured by excess of silver nitrate. Okay, by excess of silver nitrate that's why it is known as a back titration. So here what we have to do. So obviously as like Fajan's method here also there will be a same reaction of our silver nitrate with our NaCl. So we will get a precipitate of AgCl that is a silver chloride. So it is precipitated by excess of silver ion and that is back titrated okay here after getting this precipitate the silver ion will get back titrated with ammonium thiocyanate using ferric indicator now what are the problems to overcome so here what happened the silver ion get absorbed on initial AgCl precipitate it giving a premature end point of the back titration that's why we have to overcome this problem. Obviously, this is a problem. What happened? See, if the silver ion will get absorbed on this, okay? There is a precipitate of AgCl. So, if there will be a silver ion surrounded by this precipitate, 
so it will give a wrong end point okay so we have to overcome this problem and how we can overcome this so we can shake it okay before back titration means what happens see simply first in a conical flask we have NaCl right and in a burette we have a silver nitrate so we will get a precipitate of silver chloride after that what we have to do we have to again titrate this particular silver nitrate okay and silver chloride that precipitated silver chloride with our ammonium thiocyanate solution which will be filled into the burette right so ultimately what we should get that is a precipitate of silver thiocyanate but here what happened okay here because of some reason okay there will be a precipitate of means ag plus 2 surrounding the precipitate of silver chloride so if we want to remove this what we can do is and first of all why there is a need to overcome and why this is a problem see this is a problem because if it will occur then what happen what is our goal our goal is to get a silver thiocyanate precipitate and if if the silver is get absorbed on the precipitate of agcl then that this reaction will not occur that's why we have to overcome this problem and that's why this is a problem so here what we have to do so the mixture of this silver chloride and agno3 we have to boil it okay we have to boil it for some time and we can add the potassium nitrate to remove this problem so to prevent reabsorption of silver so this is a method that is used for generally the de the determination we can say of silver ions or we can say the halide ions so here this is our basic reaction silver plus chloride so we will get the agcl now this excess of silver will get react with the thiocyanate from ammonium thiocyanate and we will get the white color precipitate of silver thiocyanate after that this will react with the fe plus 3 and what we will get is the ferric thiocyanate that is of a reddish brown color complex now what are the precautions we have to take care when we are performing this method so first what happen during the titration in resulting solution concentration of nitric acid should be 0.5 molar to 1 molar now why why the nitric acid because as i said in a first slide okay in a very first slide that this is this reaction is carried out in a acidic condition that's why there is addition of nitric acid of the 0.5 to 1 molar only we cannot use strong nitric acid to maintain the acidic condition we have to add nitric acid but we cannot use the strong nitric acid because if we will use it then it prevent the formation of thiocyanate iron complex fescn complex and first as i said acidic medium what is the role of acidic medium it prevents the hydrolysis of fe that is a feoh thrice if there is a basic medium then the hydroxide ion okay because of that ion we will get the precipitate of feoh thrice so the solution second thing is solution must be free from the nitrous acid otherwise what happen it gives instant red coloration of forming thiocyanic acid if there is a nitrous acid presence of nitrous acid then we will get the thiocyanic acid then the temperature of the solution must be maintained below 25 degree centigrade since at an elevated temperature the red color of ferric thiocyanate fades away rapidly okay that's why we should maintain the temperature that is below 25 degree centigrade now when the excess of silver has reacted the thiocyanate may react with silver chloride now see this is a very important point here 
what we should add is okay the nitrobenzene we have to add so why there is a need to add nitrobenzene see when the excess of silver has reacted okay why why it get reacted because see first of all there is a precipitate of silver chloride and we have a silver nitrate okay in our conical flask so from that silver nitrate okay and silver okay that is reacted with the thiocyanate now what happen thiocyanate is less soluble than silver chloride so this will takes place before the reaction occur with the iron so there will be a titration error which titration error so sometimes agcl precipitate will react with the thiocyanate and from this silver we will get this that we don't want okay we don't want the reaction of this pre precipitated agcl with this okay we want the reaction of ag from the agno3 right so what happen how we can prevent this so obviously if we want to prevent this reaction we should make something we should protect this precipitate so how we can protect this precipitate so the silver chloride precipitate we can boil for some time okay then it is back titrated after that we can add okay the silver chloride particles we can coat it with the immiscible liquid and which liquid it's a nitrobenzene so we can add nitrobenzene so what is the use of nitrobenzene over here this nitrobenzene will stop the reaction of silver chloride with the thiocyanate ion by making one layer okay we protecting it right that's why we have to add the nitrobenzene so this is our volhards method modified volhards method the problems precaution and prevention thank you dear learners in the next video we will see the mohs method in detail